You know I can't say no to my friend Donna, but what have I gotten myself into? You saw it here. Donna from Handmade by Ying challenged me to use all these amazing solid scraps left from her Legit's Kit adventures. And I want to know, Donna, how many Legit Kits quilts have you made? I know you were a pattern tester for them. I just want to know because that's a lot of fabric. I accepted the challenge and I had a plan. I had a plan. Hi, I'm Amy and I make things. And today I'm making a pivot and changing my plan completely. Come on, let's talk about it. I had a plan. I had a great plan. It was going to be adorable. Four inch finished economy blocks as far as the eye could see, all with painstakingly fussy cut centers. Yeah, okay, I have this amazing tool, Tremlock from Fallon over at Soviet Quilts, so it was actually really easy to fussy cut. All these two and a half inch squares but nevertheless, I did cut all of my center blocks. They're cute. I sorted all the scraps by color family and began pressing. Then, as I was pressing, I began um, reevaluating my time. You see, I wanted to take this as my working project for my retreat and time was getting mm, tight. Add to that the fact that I have put off pattern testing that I'm supposed to be doing for Tara Miller, who happens to be the retreat host, and a new idea formed. I am now combining my two commitments to make one epic project. That's some efficiency. <laughs> I have renewed excitement about both commitments because using strictly solids, well, and my polka dots, of course, and working on this style of quilt are an utter departure for me. I'm really interested to see where it leads. I'm curious how I will solve any creative challenges that I encounter using only these little scraps. This is the center of my medallion mystery quilt that I am pattern testing and I can't wait to see what happens next. Donna and I are both, we're just taking our time on these quilts because that's what works in our lives right now. And as she gets ideas and videos up, I'll be sure and link them in the description box below. Do you do that? Do you start with one idea and then make an abrupt change and pivot to a new one? Is it just me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments and please take a little bit of time to hit all the buttons while you're down there. I hope you are excited about the project you're working on right now, and I hope you never forget that you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. If you need ideas for scraps, check out this playlist. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.